What's up? What's up? Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm all right. A bit tired. Yeah. <laughs> how uh, how's training camp going? Training camp has been really good. Um, I trained uh, at elevation for this one, so mix it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's been really good. What's elevation like? Uh, elevation's awesome. You know, we got a great group of not only training partners but coaches. Coaches that have learned from each other from coming out from fight week to fight week, so it's been really good. And it's been a, over a year between fights for you. Um, what did you make of the layoff? Um, it was really rough. I think the injury and a loss. You know, you take a loss, you want to get back in there right away, but the losing and then the hand, it probably helped me out in the end, but it was hard at the time because I had to take that time off and get better and not just jump back in there like I would have wanted to. But uh, I, I think taking the time off and getting better is what I needed, so it, it was worked out to be good. And it's been a few fights since the change of weight class. Does this time at all give you maybe a, a little extra space to adjust more to the div division physically? Um, yeah, I definitely feel like I put on some new muscles, um, just grappling and you know punching and everything. I feel like my body's maintained a better weight than when I was going to 115. Uh, I never missed weight at 115, so I don't think a lot of people realize how hard it was for me to get to 115, but it was definitely a struggle, and I think making 125 over and over again, I don't have that bounce back as bad, so I'm able to regulate a little bit more, put on better muscle, and not just cut out muscle the whole time I'm in training camp. So how is the weight cut so far? Oh, uh, your weight cut's going great. Um, I was a little bit nervous, not because I was heavy or anything, I just haven't done it for over a year. Weight cutting sucks no matter if you have one pound or 10, so it's always a nerve-wracking thing, but it's been going according to plan so far, so. Do you ever worry about the weight cut that, like you said, it's been a year since you've done it, that maybe your body will just be like, nah? Yeah, for sure, you know, especially this time, like I said, there's no problem with my weight cut. It goes to according to plan, like, just like every other time, but I think it's just a nerve thing, you know, not doing it for a while. But all okay so far? What'd you say? All okay so far? Yeah, for sure. What did you just make of the matchup with Courtney? I think it's going to be a great fight. Um, I know we were supposed to, well, I got offered the fight originally uh, this summer, but I was still injured, so they booked her a couple of fights. Um, but I think it's an exciting matchup, and that's why they came back to it as soon as I was able to. And her record, I think, is a little bit deceiving, uh, considering the competitive nature of a lot of her fights. Do you think some people maybe overlook her in that regard? Um, I think if you're a real fight fan, you shouldn't, because if you look at the people she's fought, she's fought tough vets. So, I mean, if you're just going off a record standpoint, maybe you overlook her, but if you look at her opponents, no, she's definitely a tough vet. Um, how do you just see the fight unfolding here, and do you have a prediction? Um, no, no prediction. You know, I think every fight is different. No matter, you could see your game plan going one way, but you got to be able to adapt in there. It's a fight. It's not a sparring session or training session. It's a fight. So, you know, I could come out with one game plan and see something different. Got to switch it up in the moment. So no predictions, but I think it's going to be, it's going to be um, a breakout fight for me, I believe. And in that case, what do you kind of think it sets you up? for in regards to the rest of the year? I just want to be super active this year. You know, I want to go out and make a statement and get a turnaround fight pretty fast. And it's obviously been a little while with the long break uh, after the last fight. Since you've had a win, do you, are you really craving that feeling of getting your hand raised again? Yeah, for sure. I got, a, I got a long year to make up for, you know. It's been over a year, so I got a lot of fights, a lot of victories, and a, a lot of... Um, I don't know, it's just that, that hunger, you know. You don't just crave the fight, you crave the, the outcome of the fight and, and getting better after that fight. So, yeah, I got a lot to make up for. Awesome. Thank you, Deirdre. Thank you, guys. Well, just a couple oh. questions. Is, how is the, the hand and the overall recovery? I know some fighters, you know, they never get fully back to 100% before they get back in there. Does the hand feel about 100% or as close as you think it will be? I think it's stronger than it was, you know. I feel like... Um, I, I didn't have any problems with it. I think my coaches, you know, as eager as I was to get back to training, I had really good people around me to make me wait and make sure that I don't just keep injuring it. Like I feel a lot of people do, you know, uh, like Paige, you know, she hurt her, broke her arm and broke it again, broke it again. So I think uh, I'm lucky, although I hated him at the time, I'm lucky that I have the people around me I do that made me sit down and say, no, you're not punching until 
it's a thousand percent ready, not a hundred percent ready. And the last time that you came in, I believe it was a big difference in the, in the sense of you were in an arena and now you're fighting into, in a room that's just going to be your corners and your opponents and their, their corners for the most part. Are you looking forward to that difference or are you missing the fact that you're not going to have a crowd out there sort of welcoming you back? Um, I'm glad I'm not missing the whole COVID experience, I guess is kind of a weird thing to say, but yeah, uh, the last one I fought was for the undercard of Connor. So it was like huge compared to the apex, which is just tiny. So um, I fought on the ultimate fighter before, so I'm not as nervous as maybe I would be if um, I hadn't had that experience prior. Um, I think it's going to work out in my favor because I could hear my coaches so clearly, but I could also hear her corners. And I know it's vice versa, but uh, I just feel like I'll be able to concentrate and not get swept up in the moment. But, yeah, I think all experiences, good experience, are going to make you better. And I draw from my past experiences, and I've been on the Ultimate Fighter, so it's not something I'm really too nervous about. And lastly, for me, one of the, one of the sites that I, I checked, you were the favorite coming in here. Uh, I'm not sure if that's something that happens often with you coming in there. I think sometimes they see it and you tend to be the shorter of the fighters. So I think a lot of times you get the underdog tag thrown on you sometimes. Is it nice to have the, to come in as, I guess, the favorite in this one? And is that something that you even, even look at going into a fight? Um, I don't pay attention. I, I know that people like tag me and stuff. So like it gets brought to my attention. Um, but I, I guess it's kind of nice to finally be like, yeah, like, put me as a favorite because that's where I'm supposed to be, you know? Like, put some, yeah, I am a 25er, I'm not a 15er, I'm not a small 25er, so, yeah, it's, it's nice. Especially, especially finding somebody like Courtney who's a tough vet and, you know, she has a, a pretty decent name, you know? So I'm excited that, um, yeah, people are finally starting to realize. And lastly, to, to that that you mentioned, it, do you feel that she doesn't get the respect that she should? Um, it seems that she's another one that people tend to overlook as well. Do you feel like uh, that people are over, overlooking her a lot of times on how dangerous that she can be? Um, like I said, I, I think if you've seen her fights, if you're a real MMA fan and you've watched past fights and you know what's up, then you shouldn't. Um, I'm not sure if people do. I think she's also moving up to from 15 to 25, so maybe people see that. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, the people she's, t she's fought – or super tough, and, you know, she's fought the best of the best at 115, so um, I think it's going to be a great matchup, and I think maybe we're both people that people tend to overlook, but I think they're in for a really good matchup. So what needs to happen uh, on Saturday night to make sure that you get your arms raised? I just got to go in there and do everything that we worked on the entire fight camp. You know, I've had a year to, uh, to envision the outcome of my next bout, no matter who it's against. I just got to go out there and do what I want to do and not really worry about what she's going to do. Best of luck. Thank you so much.